What is up, everybody? I am back. Jay Leone is back today. Uh, it's been a while. It's been a while. Been two weeks. Got some sun. Got some color. Got to get out. Got to have some fun and whatnot. Those of you aware, I was on vacation. I got back early this week. And, uh, yeah, just getting back in the groove of everything. And, uh, figure I'd shoot this vlog. Kind of a weird vlog. I'm in a different area. I'm in the same place. I'm just away from my desk, I'm on my laptop, just felt like kicking it a little bit, be a little more relaxed as I shoot this video for you guys, shirt's a little fucked up there, um, and yeah, I got a giveaway which I will announce later in this video, and we're just gonna talk about some different, um, vapor related stuff, so yeah, I was, um, in Wisconsin, and I got to, um, spend some time with my wife and some of my friends, and it was just a good time. I think I got a little bit of color. I don't know. Um, is the camera close enough? Let's get a little closer here. There we go. Maybe a little bit better. So yeah, I got a little color. Uh, I didn't do any vape shops or anything out there. It's hard when you're with friends that don't vape. Um, just go check out vape shops. I did see a couple out there in Wisconsin, though. But I did check out a brewery and a winery. The wife wanted to check out a winery, so we checked that out. And we checked out a brewery. And... Uh, if you're from around these areas, um, if you never heard of Minhas, um, Minhas Brewing, um, they're out in Monroe, Wisconsin. Fantastic facility. I guess it's the oldest um, brewery in all of the U.S. Uh, around 1840 or something like that. But anyways, none about that. Um, it was fucking awesome. For ten bucks, we drank every one of their beers. Like we had a half hour to do it, so we were just drinking and drinking and drinking and drinking. And it was great. And then afterwards, we had some time to uh, shop the the actual brewery shop part, and their beer was unbelievably affordable. And I mean, unbelievably affordable. My camera's a little off. Yeah, so it was very, very affordable. This bottle here, um, Chocolate Bunny, which I will partake in very soon. I've been. Uh, Waiting for the right time to drink it. It's called Chocolate Bunny. It is a it's a stout, obviously. I don't know if stout, it's a chocolate stout. Um, take a while, guess how much one of these craft bottles goes for. When I first got there, I'm like, mm, you know, probably about $7.99, $6.99. That's usually what the going rate for a bottle like this is. No. $1.99. $1.99. And this shit is fantastic. Uh, we sampled it in the uh, tour, and it's just, whew. It's a good chocolate stout. And they actually let us have it straight, and then they actually put a little bit of cream soda, which they also brew their own sodas in there, and oh, with the cream soda, it was just so good. And they also had stuff like this, um, crunk juice, yes, we're going to be getting crunk. Uh, <laughs> fruit punch crunk juice, 7% alcohol. One of these big-ass cans here, what is this, a, uh, a pint, 7 flow ounces, um, 99 cents. And it's freaking good also. This isn't really beer. It's more of a malt beverage. It's like, uh, I don't know. I guess you would consider a Mike's, but a way stronger Mike's. My wife likes that kind of stuff. But I picked a bunch of these up for 99 cents. They even had champagne in a can. And it was it was actually really good for 69 cents. So they had a bunch of stuff, and the prices were unbelievable. You could get six packs for 5 dollars You can make your own six pack for 5 dollars they had farmhouse ales, they have stouts, they have IPAs, double IPAs. I got a double IPA in there also, which I can't wait to drink. Um, me and my buddy will hopefully be doing a review. Not in this video, we didn't get to it. I mean, we've all been getting back to work life and whatnot. So, yeah, the brewer was pretty cool. I thought I'd share a little bit of that with you. Um, I should have took some pictures so I could have showed you. But, yeah, the beer there is cheap. So if you're near Monroe, Wisconsin, check it out. And you like craft beer, it's very, very good and very affordable. And so today I'm pretty much vaping on my uh, Segali 150 with the Aeolus uh, RDA, which I'm in love with. It's just great. So uh, what is it, a 0.3 build at 52 watts, and it's just great. And I'm using uh, one of my favorite juices, Captain Jack's from uh, Moon Mountain Vapor. A great dripping juice there. And some drink. So yeah, um, yeah, we did got on a boat in Wisconsin and stuff like that too. We drink, did a lot of drinking on the boat. Uh, it was fun. It was fun. I wish we could go back. To be honest with you, um, yeah. But anyways, usually in the vlogs we do um, 
we'll a little bit of a post review kind of on the things I previously reviewed. Obviously, this is one of the things I previously reviewed. The um, lighting's kind of shitty where I'm sitting right now, but anyways, the, Aeol uh, the Aeolus RDA, and I still give that a roaring thumbs up. If you're looking for flavor, you're looking for clouds, maybe you're looking for something cheap. Aeolus clone from, uh, who did I buy it from? Oh my god, who did I buy it from? I don't know. I'll post the link for that below anyways, where I bought it from. So that still holds up. What else did I review? Oh, I reviewed the SX Mini. Where the hell is my SX Mini? Um, oh, there you are. <laughs> my SX Mini, which I still love. I brought it on vacation, which was a stupid move. I nicked it up a little bit here on the side and on the top. I gotta get a wrap for it. Um, I still love this thing. I still stay by my, um, by what I said in my review about it. It is a fantastic device. Uh, well worth the, um, the scratch. I want to read something on the SX Mini here. Uh, one of my uh, bah, bah, bah. subscribers left a comment and let me see if I can find this for you he goes by the name Richard uh, I won't say his full name just because some people don't like their names being blasted on face on Facebook on YouTube on YouTube yeah uh, so yes this guy Richard left me a message and it kind of explained it a little clearer to me you can go on the Yeehe SX Mini 4 review M class obviously uh, the M class video and you could look and uh, his comment will be down there it goes by Richard um, he wrote, and I'm going to read this, it made sense to me and uh, kind of cleared up some of the explanation of the uh, Jules understanding here. So what he wrote is, here's an understandable explanation of Jules and how it applies to the SX Mini M-Class in temperature mode. Jules are actually a measure of work. One Joule equals one watt of power applied for one second. Therefore, one watt of power for 10 seconds is 10 Joules. 10 watts of power for 1 second is 10 joules. 20 watts of power for 1 second is 20 joules. 50 watts of power for, thir for 3 seconds is 150 joules. Uh, essentially, watts time, essentially, it is watts times seconds equals joules. Think of joules as simply, simply the amount of wattage that you're applying to your atomizer combined with how long you apply said power. Thus, a unit of work rather than power. Another way to think of it is joules equals power by time. Um, joules meter in the SX Mini M class is essentially an odometer for your battery life and how much you have vaped on that battery. Every time you pull on the battery, pull the battery out, you reset the odometer. So, how you choose to use phase return vape settings in temperature control mode? Even though joules don't technically equal watts, the M class. On the M class, you can think of joules as watts for setting your vape. Um, th there's a little more on here too, but I just wanted to read you the essential of that. Um, so yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Um, it kind of cleared it up to me. I mean, at the same time, now I'm just when I'm using it in temp mode, I know where I'm vaping it at, and I, I kind of just did it to taste. You know, you set things to taste. That's how it was in watts when we got used to it. So. So thank you, Richard, for that comment. It really did clarify a lot of that, and I hope it helps some other people, too. Oh, boy. So, those are some of the last two past reviews, and I'm still sticking by my first impressions, and my first review, I should say, of those items. SX Mini, still thumbs up, and same thing with the um, Aeolus RDA. So, next, let's talk about what is coming down the pipe. What's coming down the pipe? Um... What is coming down the pipe? Oh yeah, the um, Silo Beast from Beyond Vape. I am getting one of those for review, so I should be getting one of those soon. I actually can't wait to try. It looks like a really neat tank. I guess it um, basically it's the Nautilus V2. Not is it the Nautilus? Not the Nautilus. My bad. The Atlantis V2. It takes those coils in there. It basically is a nicer tank for those coils. Um, it looks really cool. I can't wait to um, look at it and get to use it and whatnot and share a review with you guys. Man, I'm just thirsty today. So, I got that coming. I've also got the, uh, I can't say his name, Castigador. Well, not the Castigador. The Castigador? The Castigador? Castigador? The Castigador? I don't know. Uh, it's a Durlin black white um, dual 18650 
mechanical box mod. Um, yeah, it, it looks cool. I really, I really like the look of this thing, and we're gonna see how it performs. I got it from a vendor I never ordered from before ever. Um, it, where did I get it from? Angel Six. It was like twenty-five bucks. It's a clone, obviously. It's not the original. The original is like two hundred some crazy dollars. So yeah, it's a clone. That one looks really cool. I uh, can't wait to get that one. Should be here again sometime next week. So that review will come up soon. And then the thing that I'm really most excited about right now is uh, I've been in contact with a vendor. Is it a yeah? They are a vendor. What am I saying? Uh, um, a vendor. They're uh, sending me something to look at. It is. Uh, I think they're calling it the brass knuckle mod. Fumi Vapor, F U M I V O P R dot com. And for some reason, my desktop saying it's taking me to a GoDaddy link, which isn't right, but I haven't pulled up here on my phone. And it is F U M I V A P O R dot com. Anyway, I'm just making a mockery of this whole segment. Um, yeah, they're uh, sending me something called the Brass Knuckle Mod, which looks really cool. Um, if you get a chance, I'll put their website link down below. Check it out. I'm also going to link to this uh, YouTube video they shot for it. Which looks really cool. They they've done some cool things as far as advertising goes. They got their advertisements down down pat. They got they got the women for it, and uh, yeah, they got a video of them using the mod smashing um, a couple cigarettes, uh, tobacco cigarettes. So that's kind of cool. I like where they're headed, and uh, I like to see uh, some of their devices when I get them. And hopefully, I'll be shooting those reviews for you when they get in and uh, show them to you. They look really really cool. They're uh, I would say they're high end, definitely high end mods. But I'm uh, brass knuckles basically. It's a picture of brass knuckles, and then it's a mod. I mean, check the website out. You'll see what I'm talking about. Very cool. That should be coming up. They said like six weeks or so. So that will be coming up down the pipeline a little later. So uh, besides that. Ooh, I got that, I got that, I got that. that. That's what I know for sure is coming up. I got some batteries in today. I know not the most exciting vape mail in the world. Um, came in these cases. I, I kind of like this vendor. I'm kind of going to put their link down below because I kind of like what they're doing. Came in these nice uh, 18650 cases that I don't know how to open. I see. I'm not going to open it, but I'm going to end up breaking it. what's going to happen. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so it's uh, 18650 bats. These are, uh, what, what are these, LGs? LGs, HE2s, I think. I think that's what I ordered. Uh, 35 amp red batteries. You you guys know what these are. He's got a great deal on these. I should tell you how much they are here. I paid like 12 bucks a pair. So they are come off like $6 a piece. Uh, 12 bucks per. I got two sets because I'm going to be doing some uh, dual 18650 mods going up, so I'm getting myself prepared with some dual 18650 batteries. Um, so, yeah, 24 bucks for four batteries. So, it comes out to like $6 a piece with free shipping. I'll put his link down below. He sends them all in nice carrying cases. So, if you're somebody that takes batteries with you, nice to have these cases so they're not just cleaning them out, chains, and shorting out and whatnot. It's nice to keep your batteries protected. So, great price. Came in a nice, nice little box and it was all felted out and it was shit. very good presentation on batteries. I mean, it's batteries, but these are good batteries for, like I said, six bucks a piece. I'll put his eBay store link down below because uh, seems like a good guy and he's got some quick shipping also. And something else that may be coming up. Um, I talked about the Lost Vape. Uh, is it the Lost Vape Tan? The Tan Mod, I believe. Yeah, they make. Um, it's a China company that makes these wood mods. They're very nice. It's got like a top trigger button here. They're very nice. They came out with a version two of it, and now it's using the DNA forty with the temp control. They got two versions out. They got one that looks sick as hell. Um, I'll put a link to these also. Vapor Tech USA is selling them. It's a pre-order. One of them's got like this gold. Um, Insert picture right here. So yeah, they're just very, very nice. I want to review one of those, so I may be getting one of those <clears throat> to um, review for you guys also. 
So that's some of the excitement stuff, exciting stuff coming up. But that's enough of what's coming, and let's talk about the giveaways. I'm sure that's what you guys have all fast forwarded to by now, because I've talked my ass off about pretty much nothing. What well, I'm going to give away, and why I'm giving it away, I'm going to give away. Well, first of all, we hit 1,000 subscribers, which is a milestone for me. I never thought 1,000 people would even want to listen to me. So I'm going to thank all of you by giving some stuff away. As you may know, I don't get a lot of free shit sent to me, so I give away what I have. I'm going to give away something that I really don't want to, but it's worth it for this cause. Um, this is the Goblin RDA, well, RTA, I should say, Rebuildable Tank Atomizer, which I love. I'm not giving a drip tip because that's just gross. Why would you want my drip tip? Um, I'm going to clean this in some alcohol over nights for a couple nights, actually. And just let the, whatever it smells like Apple Jacks. So <laughs> whatever juice is in there, get out. Um, and I'm going to give this away. And I got the box for it, too, with all the O-rings and spare screws and everything, basically. It's a nice, nice RTA. I've used it for a couple weeks. I did a review not too long ago on it. I love it. But you know what? I got so much other stuff that I could part with it. So that's going away. And I'm also going to throw in this uh, this little tiny guy here. I also did a review on it. This is the uh, Derringer RDA clone from Tobacco. I also did a review for that. Um, I'll post links to those reviews below if you want to see the reviews for these little guys. So, yeah, this is a, uh, what is this? This one's a tripos, I believe. Ah! <laughs> so, yeah, it's a little tripos uh, rebuildable atomizer here. A very short, small atomizer. So, if you like things like that, you'll love this. It's great for flavor. Just get yourself a drip tip for it because, again, I'm not going to give a drip tip. And I have the original packaging for this, so I'll throw that in with whatever goodies it came with. If it came with any, I don't even remember. So yeah, we're going to get a Goblin RTA, and yes, again, they're used, but I'll clean them, and you clean them again when you get them. I didn't put them in my mouth, you know, I put the drip tip in my mouth, which I'm not giving to you guys. So yes, Goblin RTA, Derringer RDA, with all the original packaging for it, and that's what we're going to give away for now. Um, how are you going to enter this little giveaway here? I don't like doing contests and all that stuff, so I'm just going to give it away. What you got to do? Like said video. Well, let's start with A, you must be a subscriber. Like the video. Comment on the video saying enter me into the contest. And share. Facebook, Twitter, Google. I don't care how you want to share it. I'm using the honor system. Just put in your comment that you um, shared the video. So like, comment, and share on any social media platform. That you want and you'll be entered and that's it and I should be prepared and I'll tell you we're gonna end this contest hmm one did on the next review so it'll be the 21st of May 2015 21st of May 2015 at Eleven fifty nine p.m. So eleven fifty nine p.m. Just before it turns the twenty second contest done. Eleven fifty nine p.m. May twenty first, two thousand fifteen. Contest will be closed, and I'll pick a winner that Friday, and I'll announce it in the video, or I'll just yeah, I will announce it in the video when I say it. So yeah, that's how you do it. Like the video, be subscribed, comment on the video, and share it. I'm going with the honor system on the whole sharing thing, so I guess you don't really have to share if you don't want to, but like, comment, share, be subscribed. That's it. And just put enter me in the contest and say I shared the video or something like that. And you'll be entered. That's it. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty simple on that one. So some lucky person will get a goblin and a Derringer clone. And uh, you will enjoy them because they're, they're both very good devices. Very good devices. So that's about it. I don't want to ramble on too long and bore you guys because, uh, yeah, that's about it. Next week we will probably be doing the, um, I think we're going to do the Beyond Vape Silo Beast Tank, which I'm looking forward to. That will be like next Wednesday or Thursday, somewhere in that area, probably Thursday. No, 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 I'm wrong. Friday because um, that's when I want to do the winner for the contest. So 
We'll do that next, then probably followed by the Castador. Castador, whatever that thing is, that box. <laughs> and then we'll probably get into, like, uh, one of the other mods. So, that's it, guys. I hope you found this vlog entertaining slash helpful. I'll grab my mod here. And uh, good luck to all you answered the giveaway. Um, and that's about it. I think, um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, obviously I'll put a link down here below. And until next time, live well and vape on.